For more than 300 million years, grasshoppers have been existent. In central Uganda, grasshoppers are referred to as ensenene. Grasshoppers, ensenene, scientifically referred to as Rusupolia nitidula, is one of those delicacies that keep most Ugandans anticipating. So from Kampala city, the capital of Uganda, to Nabusanke MPG district, about 72 kilometers, where the equator leads us south, 37 kilometers, to Nyendo town. This distance of about 110 kilometers, and the other areas beyond, regard insanity, vital, and a healthy delicacy, one that has recommendable nutrients. The grasshopper provides excellent protein and necessary vitamins while containing negligible amounts of cholesterol and other fats. <laughs> this bush cricket is occasional, and so it is known for making appearance in the month of November, which makes the season cherished by both that eat nsenene and those that regard it as a source of income. In Nyendo, Masaka, still in the central of Uganda, this suburb is considered to be the heart of this intrinsic activity. Back then, tradition believed that Ensenene fell from the skies, an ideology that was later refuted with facts. Researchers have proved that grasshoppers are blown by the monsoon winds to tropical places like Masaka, where they swarm in greater numbers. Much as it is in the 11th month that the grasshoppers are expected, it is statistically proven that Nyendo Masaka is in the lead of producing senene. This lucrative trade has become a source of employment to the people of Nyendo and other parts of the country. In this town, people devised a method of collecting grasshoppers by using large shiny iron sheets lined up vertically into a barrel. It is due to the bright lights that the grasshoppers are attracted to the trap. When the grasshoppers come to these suspended lights, they circle around them until they fall onto the sheets. That's how they slide into the barrels. While in the trap, they cannot escape. This method became popular in Masaka district at the time when grasshoppers swarm in very large numbers. The method thereafter spread to different districts of the country in both rural and urban areas. This way has helped the people of Nyendo raise Nsenene all year round. The Nsenene delicacy is known to be a uniting factor, one that unites people from different walks of life. Because of its unforgettable test, the haves and have-nots will interact to quench their test buds. This oily creature makes it easy to prepare. There are for less or no extra ingredients may be necessary. And whoever makes the attempt to test finds it hard to quit. Africa's signet world referred it to us, the Great Lakes dish. The different color pigments in Ensenene is one of those characteristics that get some of those keen people wondering. The green and brown colors in grasshoppers is brought about by the need to camouflage. This helps them blend more effectively with the environment. They are seen green in the rainy seasons and brown winged, especially in the dry seasons. And Selene is consumed in various ways. Amazingly, some people eat it raw because there are no side effects involved. Due to various society settings, grasshoppers are prepared in various ways, and no matter how different, 
the delicacy is well attended to. And then any true eaters will not mind the way it's prepared. As long as it's served, their smiles will indicate how much they love it. In various ways, a lot of people have prepared it for both domestic and commercial purposes. The process is easy as long as proper heat is put to regulation and steering has to be constant to avoid ensenene from sticking on the bottom of the saucepan. In the process, the aroma will automatically trigger off appetite of those that enjoy the taste. Unlike other foods, this special delicacy it takes a few minutes to get ready, whether by boiling or frying them, they will be safe to eat. Signet World Africa, together with Pizza House, came up with a recipe, the Ensanene Pizza. This pizza made of Ensanene is no doubt a tasty one. This has elevated the cricket to the high-end consumer. The hassle of looking for insanity is lessened. It is now available in places where people hang out on a daily. These gentlemen and a lady have it all going down well. They comprehend the great test that the insanity pizza holds. With an accompaniment of a few drinks, their day was satisfactorily made. While on the same research, Signet World Africa succeeded in interacting with the traders of Vesanene in Nyendo. The trade and itself a prominent venue. The name of the place where this business roars is known as Basenene Stage, a word that was derived from the activity. At Basenene stage, this is a heartfelt business. These traders handle it with so much passion. They do whatever it takes to appease their clients, no matter the challenges they face. To them, it's business above other businesses. Abdul Karim Chiganda, the chairman of Basenene, gave his clearest view about this business. He is so grateful that this grasshopper trade has helped many people get employed. A reason that the crime rate in Nyendo town went down. Men and women have been busy. A truth that we all believe in, that an idle mind is a devil's workshop. Abdul Karim still appreciated the Basenene for the zeal that this trade has helped them achieve a lot in their lives. Apart from sustaining their homes, they can afford starting up other businesses from the profits they make out of the Ensenene business. Like in any other business, he talked about the predicaments they find as Basenene. The hiked prices of electricity makes the Ensenene expensive because the bulbs that are used in trapping the grasshoppers are of a high voltage. The bills become overwhelming which affects the traders, hence affecting the clients. The change in climate is another hindrance which affects the levels of production. The Basenene have made it clear that the rainy seasons are more favorable, that it's in this season that the grasshoppers appear in huge numbers. Charles Sesazi, 
another trader at the Pasenen stage described how they manage using maize flour to preserve ensenene. He also talked about the other insects that get mixed up with the grasshoppers. Some of these insects are harmful, so they cause skin irritations. In the same place, Jen Kaketo explained that in the process of preparing ensenene, one needs to be careful so that the unwanted insects are not cooked together with ensenene. The grasshopper is so beneficial. Signet World Africa handled this issue. Zanana. 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 